Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to do subtraction worksheet in class 1. Dear viewers, children will be able to do the sums in this video if they are clear with the concept of subtraction that they have learnt in class 1. Let us go into the details of this video and see the sums. The first problem that we are going to see is, here we have few pineapples. These are the pineapples in your nearby fruit shop. Let us count how many pineapples are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The shopkeeper has 9 pineapples with him. Few people came to the shop and bought 1, 2, 3, 4. That is, they bought four pineapples and took away with them. So, what is the number of pineapples remaining with the shopkeeper now? Let us count once again. One, two, three, four, five. So, there are five pineapples remaining in the shop now. Let us put this in the form of numbers. The shopkeeper had nine pineapples with him. Four people came and bought or took away four pineapples with them. So what is the remaining number of pineapples in the shop? We have five pineapples remaining in the shop. This method of subtraction is called as subtraction using objects. This is the first topic that the children will learn in subtraction in class 1. I have dealt with this topic in a separate video with sufficient number of examples for the children to understand them better. The link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the i-card section. Let us do one more sum for the concept subtraction using objects. You have two green toy cars with you. You broke both the toy cars. So what is the number of cars remaining with you now? Nothing or zero. Let us write this in the form of numbers. You had two toy cars with you and you broke both the cars. So 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. This is one of the property of subtraction. When a number is subtracted by itself, you get the answer to be 0. Let us do the next sum. In a school, in a PT room, there were few footballs. Let us count the number of footballs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We may also call it as a soccer ball. There were 7 soccer balls or footballs in a school PT room. One ball came and took away one football with him. So, what is the remaining number of footballs in the room now? Let us count once again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, you have 6 footballs remaining in the PT room now. Let us put this in the form of numbers. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. This is also a property of subtraction. Whenever you subtract a number by 1, you get the before number. In this case, the before number for 7 is 6. So, 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. I have dealt with the properties of subtraction in a separate video. Link to that video is also given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. The next sum that we are going to see is, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pencils with you. But you do not want to share it with anyone. Will there be any reduction in the number of pencils with you? No. You have 5 pencils and you are not going to give any pencil to anybody. That is you are not going to share the pencils with anybody. So 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. There is not going to be any change in the number of pencils with you. This is a property of subtraction which states that when a number is subtracted by 0, you get the same number. Let us do the next sum. 17 minus 7 is equal to what? This is a type of subtraction called as horizontal subtraction. What do you mean by horizontal? Horizontal means sleeping line. That is the numbers are written in a horizontal format one after the other with a subtraction sign in between and the answer to the subtraction is written after the equal to sign. So in this case what we are going to do first keep 17 in the mind 
and 7 in the fingers. Keep 5 fingers in one hand and 2 fingers in the other hand. Since it is subtraction, we are going to do before numbers. In addition, we always do forward movement that is you do the after number calculation but in subtraction we do the before number calculation. So before 17 it is 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. So 17 minus 7 is equal to 10. Let us do another sum. 59 minus 8 is equal to dash. Same way keep 59 in mind and 8 in the fingers. 5 fingers in one hand, 3 fingers in the other hand. Before 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. So the answer is 51. Dear viewers, I have dealt with the topic of horizontal and vertical subtraction in detail in a separate video. The link to that video is also given below in the description box. You may visit that video for more such examples for the children to be clear with the concept. In this worksheet video, I have picked up the variety of sums from all the topics and giving it here so that you can have a quick revision of the concept of subtraction. Let us do the next sum, 9 minus 2. This type of subtraction is called as vertical subtraction where you write the number one below the other and the subtraction sign near the second number. So same way the subtraction procedure is going to be the same way. 9 in the mind, 2 in the fingers and this is all called as backward subtraction because you are dealing with before numbers. Before 9 it is 8, 7. This is again a uh, subtraction in the vertical type for format that is vertical subtraction but here we are dealing with two digit numbers 87 minus 35. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. So keep 7 in the mind and 5 in the fingers. Before 7 6 5 4 3 2. Move on to the tens place 8 in the mind and 3 in the fingers. Before 8 7 6 5. So the answer for the subtraction of 87 minus 35 is 52. Dear viewers, this is subtraction of two digit numbers without borrowing or regrouping. This is a separate topic and the link to that video is also given below in the description box. Please do visit that video for sufficient number of examples for this type of sums. Next, we are going to see the number line concept. What is a number line? A line with arrows on both the ends. And you have numbers in between. This is a number line with numbers 80 to 100. What does the arrows on both the end indicate? It indicates that the numbers can be extended on both the sides. Here I have taken a number line with numbers 80 to 100. What are we going to do with this number line? Find the subtraction of 99 minus 9. The first step is first identify where is 99. You have to circle the number 99. Now, since it is a subtraction we are going to do, you are going to jump in the backward direction. The same number line can also be used for addition, in which case you will jump in the forward direction. I have dealt with all these concepts also in separate videos. You may visit my channel home page for number line addition videos. So now 99 minus 9, so begin the jumping from the number 99. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So when you jump 9 times you reach the number 90. So 99 minus 9 will give you the answer 90. Very interesting isn't it? Let us do one more sum for the number line subtraction. So here we have a number line with numbers 0 to 20. We have to find out 20 minus 11. First step is to find out where 20 is and circle it. Then we have to do 11 jumps in the backward direction. So let us start jumping from 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So when you jump 11 times from 20 in the backward direction, you reach the number 9. So the answer for 20 minus 11 is equal to 9. Hope you are finding the sums interesting so far. Stay with me till the end of this video for many more such interesting sums. The next topic that we are going to see is 33 minus 29. This is also horizontal subtraction but can we keep 33 in the mind and 29 in the fingers? It is not practically possible, right? So I am going to teach you a new method called as forward subtraction for which what we have to do is begin counting in the forward direction from 29. Let us do that now. 
So we are going to count from 29 to reach 33. So 30, 31, 32, 33. So how many numbers did we need to reach 33? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer for subtraction of 33 minus 29 is equal to 4. Did you find that interesting? What we have to do is, we have to move in the forward direction. This is called as forward subtraction. Generally we deal with before numbers in the case of subtraction. But in the method of forward direction, forward subtraction, we move in the forward direction. So in this case we move from 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. We needed 4 numbers. So the answer is 33 minus 29 is equal to 4. Let us do another sum. 85 minus 76. So now we are going to move from 76 to 85 in the forward direction. Let us start doing that now. 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So how many numbers did we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We needed 9 numbers in the forward direction to reach from 76 to 85. So the answer is 9. Dear viewers, this is a very interesting and important concept. To do more sums for this type of method of forward subtraction, you may visit my forward subtraction video for class 1. Link to that video is also given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 1 under the topic subtraction, of which I have covered single digit subtraction with objects, properties of subtraction, Horizontal and vertical subtraction by counting backward, subtraction using number line, subtraction by counting forward, subtraction of two digit numbers without regrouping, sturdy sums in separate videos. Now in this video we saw all the concepts revised in the subtraction worksheet video. Links to each of these videos are given below in the description box so you may also click on the in screen video which will take you to the playlist containing all the videos for class 1 subtraction. With this we complete the topic subtraction. The next topic that I will be dealing with is shapes. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the topic of shapes. If you like the video give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.